Reading is something most of us do every day. We read for pleasure, to get information, to do our assignments, and we read at work to do our jobs. Text is all around us, and we use it every day to help us navigate our way through the world. But when a disability makes it difficult to access text, we may need a little help. Fortunately, help is available. Welcome to Understanding Accessible Instructional Materials. Inspired by CommonCraft.com Sometimes children have disabilities that prevent them from accessing print in the same way their peers can. Someone with a visual impairment might not be able to see the print in a book. A person with a physical impairment might not be able to turn the pages of a book or be in a good position to read. And someone with a reading disability like dyslexia might not be able to figure out what the words really mean. To succeed in school, these students need learning materials presented in a way that works for them. We're going to talk about two parts of AIM, the content and a way to interact with the content. First, let's talk about the content. These types of learning materials are called Accessible Instructional Materials, or AIM. If elementary and secondary students with disabilities need AIM, then schools are required to provide these in a timely manner. If you think your child needs accessible instructional materials, bring it up with your IEP team. You and the other members of the IEP team determine if a student needs to receive the same content as other children in one or more specialized formats. There are four different specialized formats available, Braille, Large Print, Audio, and Digital Text. The right formats are chosen based on how a student will access the information contained in printed materials, which format lets them work as independently as possible, which format will help the student develop literacy skills, and which format will let them successfully participate and make progress in general education curriculum and on IEP goals. You have some information about the content, now let's talk about ways to interact with the content. The IEP team determines what else is needed. It could be technology, such as a digital audio player, training for students, family, and school staff, accommodations, such as a quiet place to listen to audio files, or specialized instruction to learn how to use audio, braille, or other formats, coordinated services between teachers, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and others, or support services to maintain equipment and support the use of technology. So now you know a little more about accessible instructional materials, but you may have some specific questions about AIM. There are many resources available to help you learn more. These include Accessible Instructional Materials, AIM, Basics for Families. Accessible Instructional Materials, AIM, a technical guide for families and advocates. The AIM Navigator, a free online tool to help teams make decisions about a student's need for AIM and how to meet that need, and many more. This has been Accessible Instructional Materials in Simple Language, brought to you by the Pacer Center. In collaboration with the National Center on Accessible Instructional Materials, where help is always available.